Hey guys, Bug up there, and welcome to Mega Man 2. I picked 2 because I suck. <laughs> it's one of the easier ones. Um, so then, I, I actually tried recording previously, but I accidentally ended the video. So this is the second time I've recorded this. So, meaning I have to do Quick Man stage again. But first, let's do Flash Man. Don't bother going up there, unless you de decide to fight Crash Man for some reason, even though he's one of the hard- he's like the hardest boss in this game. Relatively speaking. I mean, they're all pretty easy to kill. It's just Flash Man's s mildly harder. And not Flash Man. Flash Man's pushover. Now I have to deal with these things. Go away! Stop jumping on me! There's those things. What are those anyway? Alarm clocks? Is that what they're supposed to be? I hate ice physics in any game. Luckily, with this jumpy dude, you can skip him. Jump. And I fell directly on him. Actually, if I kill this guy, I can skip the annoying stuff. And then still get in here for the uh, easy avoid. And not have to deal with that guy. See? All works out. Gotta learn when to die. I... I fell. Now then, something that I tend to do with this guy. Lure him over here. Come on! Come on! And then... Just quickly get over here as fast as possible. And the screen just ate him. It's a pretty simple trick to do. You just gotta get the thing away from its spawn point. That, so it only works with, you know, moving enemies. Okay, and... Time to kill Flashman. He's dead already. Yeah, basically just get in his face and mash the fire button and he'll be dead pretty quick. Yay! Away we go. <laughs> I still love this item screen. Let me skip this, though. Because look at Mega Man. And then there's the message from Dr. Light. Who looks kind of dumb in this. I think they tried pushing the detailing of the sprites as far as they could. And it didn't really work out. They tried making this look amazing, and, I mean, this is an NES game that I'm trying to play on my phone, which actually kind of makes things significantly more difficult, uh, especially in the next stage. Quick Man stage. Uh, a little interesting thing about Quick Man, if you look, his little boomerang thing since past the block, uh, select box, because apparently, he originally, he was supposed to be like an actual full-on rival with Mega Man. But I ended up just being a robot master. My finger's in the way. Anyway, now I don't have to deal with ice physics. But with that item 3 that we got from the last stage, you can get this extra life. So, go ahead and switch over to this. I nearly dropped it. And away we go. Get as far to the right as you can. And then, items. E-Tank, 
and then used up a little bit of this to get that extra life, and now it's back. Pretty simple. I've beaten this game a few times. Okay, I haven't beaten beaten it, and don't expect me to, like ever, because <laughs> screw fighting that alien, it's so annoying. Hang on. So if you, so you do this and just shoot, and then they'll die before they even get to do anything. Yes, I'm constantly going quick saving. I am sorry if that annoys you. I don't particularly care. It's just how I play this game. And now time for the part that takes 50 million tries. So you go all the way to the, to the right, and move to the left. I've memorized the pattern of lasers. It's just the buttons don't like being buttons sometimes. Because they aren't buttons. They're part of my touch screen. Which, you know, isn't the best when you need pixel-perfect movement. Like you do in Mega Man NES games. I mean, you, you see that, you see that weapon energy container? That only appears because I had, because I have the flash stopper. Those items don't appear if you don't have a flash stopper. Because they understand that it's, they don't like taunting you with stuff. Die, stupid and Sniper Joe. Die, Joe. Now, this part's kind of really, really, really annoying. Because the guy jumps right on your head. And if you get knocked back too far, it'll spawn another one. Which will... they There will be several on your head. And it will drain your health unimaginably quickly. However, Quickie over here isn't hard to beat. He, I can actually kill him pretty quickly. He takes a good bit of damage from the buster. All you gotta do is get him down to half health, and it doesn't matter how close to death you are, you just boom. I win now. It just Look, I have the, the amazing power to sit back and watch you lose. Those boomerangs just went right through my face twice. So yeah, once you get him down to half health, and then all you gotta do is use the flash stopper and he will die. Or you can just use it right from the beginning to get him down to half health, and then just power through with a buster. With quick boomerang. Yay! I turn pink. I hit the wrong button. I hit start too quickly. Now I get to be the pink Mega Man. Anyway, let's, let's make this game significantly easier. Let's go fight Metal Man. Metal Man stage is pretty cool. Uh, cause, you know, it's... It's cool. I don't know. I like it. Jump! Now then, if we go over here, and there's an E-Tank you can easily get. You just gotta run. And now, because I'm not I'm trying to save the Flash Stopper anymore for anything, wait for that to go back up. Boom! Flash stop. Freeze the conveyor belts and the stupid spikies. Now you're all the way across. If you do it right, you can get across with just one of these. Pew pew! For some reason, this is actually this is a good spot to sit and farm. But for some reason, these guys don't really like dropping health very often, so they only ever drop weapon energy. Occasionally, they'll drop health. Very rarely, though. See, there's a little bit of health. I ran into it, another dude and lost it immediately. See, once you get to here, though, they're gone. And you just jump. Just jump. I fell right in a pit. Fell directly in a pit. I don't care if you consider it cheating to constantly save and reload. I just, I can't beat these games without quick saving. Because I suck at video games. Ow. Save right here. I, I just suck. So, let's try to not suck. But you see, part of the reason that... I hate everything. 
Part of the reason that everyone says this is one of the easiest games is because of the power you get from beating Metal Man. And anyone who's ever played or even heard anything about Mega Man 2, you know what I'm talking about. You understand the power of the Metal Blade. Anyway, let's go. Down the hole. My voice broke twice. Give me a moment. I need a drink. Okay. Go, 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 go! Now then, the thing with these guys, I used to have a huge problem with them, but if you shoot fast enough, you can actually kill the pink dudes. Now, here's the thing, normally all you have to do is kill the tire, and then the pink dudes will fall into the abyss, but if you do it quick enough, you can beat the pink dudes before they fall off, and sometimes they'll drop items. I think they actually have, like, a higher chance to drop cool stuff. See, he dropped a health, but he was too far off screen for, for it to land. Because, yeah, see? Look at the crap that he drops. He drops so much crap. See that? Super simple. And then you just pew, pew, pew. They're dead. Here's Metal Dude. Hello. He's Metal Dude. The boss is Metal Man. I forgot his name for a second. I don't know why. Uh, I'm pretty sure that E-Tank is actually impossible to get with ju You need, like, item... You need either item 2 or item 1. Because I, I found no way to get it. You can get down there and grab it. If you do it right, see, you can do this and grab it. But then you have no way of getting back across. Because I don't think you can actually make that jump. Screw you, spring dude. No one likes you. You can actually trick them, if, if you do it right, you can trick them into, well, first of all, you can trick them into falling into that pit, or you can just trick them into killing himself by running into the screen void. Now then, uh, Metal Man is slightly more difficult than some of the other guys we've fought, so you just switch over to Quick Boomerang. I just kicked my remote. Now then, there's a conveyor belt here, kind of like Flame Man with Mega Man X. Even though this did it first. And some say it did it better. Hey, Metal Man, pew pew! Look at how much damage he's do. And now he's dead. <sighs> Just follow this boss order, and you kill things pretty quickly and easily. Well, Flash Man, I always recommend starting with, because his stage is pretty short, and he's pretty easy to kill. He's just kind of annoying if you don't kill him quick enough, because, you know, uh, he freezes time. Uh, first time I actually recorded this, I killed him before he could do anything. Now then, how long have we been going for? Only 13 minutes. Okay, yeah. So, then you take your newfound metal blade over to Bubble Man's stage, and prepare to annihilate everything. Now then. Uh, this background screen is kind of annoying. I know it's a waterfall, and that's cool, but it's just, it hurts your, your eyes sometimes. Now then, I pretty much, once you get Metal Blade, you have no reason not to use it ever. Just constantly, even if you can't throw them diagonally properly, because you're using a crappy phone emulator that doesn't register buttons very well. This game becomes way too easy. Kill the frogs, kill that thing. I don't know why I stopped moving in midair, but I'm kind of glad that I stopped right there instead of, you know, an inch further. Die! Hey, you want to see a trick? If you're having trouble dealing with these platforms, use Flashman's weapon. They won't fall. So, like, if you're bad at quick parkouring, and it lasts, like, just long enough, but if you're bad at quickly parkouring, and, you know, you just can't deal with that, with the falling platforms, because those platforms normally fall. You just use Flashman's power and freeze time. And then it's pathetically easy. Also, this, for some reason, has a tendency to drop you right on top of a dude. Hey, you want to see a trick? One, two. And then you pause and unpause. One. See? It'll, it'll use up less weapon energy. In fact, if you use Metal Blade, uh, you see you get like five of them. Uh, per little dot. 
because of this, the game if you pause and then unpause, the game loses track of how many you've actually used. So it'll give you infinite if you're willing to do that constantly. But let me show you how many you actually get. You can throw it in all eight directions the NES would allow. And they do way too much damage. And you have way too many of them. Like, I, I can sit here... Like, I'm just now starting to run out. And even if you do run out, you can just sit and farm weapon energy with it. Like, usually, you very rarely actually run out of the stuff. I've only run out once or twice in the entirety of me playing this game. Uh... And that's just because I was being stupid. Oh, hey, look. Boom, boom. Oh, I forgot. You take two Metal Blades. Seriously, though, if something is not immune to Metal Blade, it's weak to it. It'll kill it in a good two or three Metal Blades if it's not a boss. Or a mini-boss of some sort, like the Fish Dude. Which we are going to fight soon. Also, Metal Blade makes this way too easy. Like, even if you suck, it doesn't matter how much you suck, the moment you get Metal Blade, it's so easy to beat this game. He's dead now. Those are dead. Everything's dead. Seriously. Like, just get Metal Blade as soon as humanly possible and everything will be dead. It also makes these stupid jellyfish things a lot easier. Because, you know, you can throw them straight upwards instead of having to, like, try and dodge around them and wait for them to come to you. Like a noob. Just also, don't suck. Because if you suck, then bad things happen. I'm also not good at dealing with spikes on the ceiling. Because I tend to jump way too high. Or run too fast. I do something stupid. Why is that suddenly over there? That guy was nowhere near over there. See, I jumped way too high. And I was just generally stupid. Also, sometimes if you jump while holding the forward button, it'll make you jump stupidly high for no reason whatsoever. Screw you, jellyfish creatures! Metal blade! Metal blade! Metal blades! Face the power of the metal blade! Yes, I save constantly. I've discussed this already. I don't care. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah! Die! Look at this. Look at how much I've already spammed it. That guy's already dead. I used three metal blades. Uh, a challenge that some people do try and jump up here without hitting the spikes. I used. I actually used to suck a lot more. Um, yeah, I mean, just look at how many of them you can use, and by the time you begin to run out. Things start dropping an absurd amount of weapon energy. It's almost like it drops more weapon energy than normal. Is that how Metal Blade works? Does it actually drop more? Also, it makes this part easy. Because you can just kill them before they, you know, come near you. Just throw one up before, like, each jump. And now you go fight Dr. Wily. Well, not really. You don't fight Dr. Wily till after you kill this guy. And, you know, the other four. Just go kill Bubble Man. Hi, Bubble Man. Boosh! Metal Blades! He died. Honestly, if I did that better, I could have killed him in only four shots. Four presses of the B button. Um. Yeah. Metal Man himself, when you have to refight him, just use two Metal Blades, he'll die instantly. So, get equipped with bubble lead, or lead. I'm gonna go with lead, because that makes mm, slightly more sense. Now then, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at just killing the four. I don't wanna do too much in one thing. I'll only do a 20-minute episode. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, then leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe. Really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!